think uh, uh, it's a very interesting event because it's focused to, uh, to the telecom market and to 5G. 5G is going to be amazing with all the use cases, the, the new business opportunities it offers. So I, I choose to attend because um, I'm proud that this happened in Lebanon. I'm Lebanese and I wanted to see what's going to be uh, ideas, innovation, added value Lebanon could provide. And it's also an opportunity for Lebanon to have, let's say, more business opportunities and attract uh, talent from outside in telecom and 5G. Yeah, this is really, really key because today if you look at uh, the security breaches, if I'm talking about security, most of them are coming because from the inside, people access the database directly and can see everything. Databases are not patched. Uh, the performance of database are not good enough. Suddenly there is a lot of accesses and uh, the database crashes. So there is an, 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 and the cost of maintaining all that is huge for organizations. They have to have the right skills, the right people, invest, so they put all their money in, in, in maintaining instead of innovating. So autonomous database is a great opportunity to lower all that investment and cost for customers. It is self-secure, it is self-patching, it is self-operating itself, self-increasing uh, the performance, optimizing the performance, and it's gonna be, a, let's say, um, a big opportunity for them to reduce their operational cost and focus more on innovation and having something running and secure all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, first, when going into the cloud, the cloud needs to be highly secure. So we have implemented all the classical security measures in the cloud. So we have encryption, we have uh, a network firewall, we have identity and access management, uh, we have antiviruses, so all that. But now there is a new threat, there are new challenges in the cloud, is that the perimeter is not the organization anymore. You don't go into the office to access the cloud. You use your mobile from the world wherever you are to access your organization, your company cloud systems. So what you need is to, to, to secure that, you need to analyze the user behavior. You need machine learning to understand what the user used to do, and if he's doing suddenly something different, this is maybe a bot doing that. So we are investing heavily in machine learning, artificial intelligence, edge security, user behavior analytic, log analytics to uh, predict and detect uh, breaches before they happen. First, uh, I would say uh, privacy. Privacy is going to be very challenging because those technology learns about the user behavior and knowing more about the user behavior is knowing more about the user himself. What we need is we need at a given time to forget that behavior. If the user wants to change his mindset or his behavior or he likes something else, we need to be able to erase all that. The second thing is uh, we need people to be able to, to operate those kind of systems. Those systems will, will be more or less automatic. They will trigger alerts automatically. They will learn from users. They will highlight risk, but maybe they are not real risk. Maybe this is, uh, this is a normal behavior, something which, which is normal to happen, and, and the system will say, no, this is not normal. So we need people who can understand that, data scientists, who can interact with those intelligent systems and put them on the right way. And, and finally, um, uh, what, what we still need, even if security is more and more being, um, let's say, uh, taken by those systems, which will react intelligently and automatically on, on, on breaches, we still need people who can understand that and operate those systems. So there is a lack of skills today in the market security skills, data scientists, people. We need more people who understand that. The, the, the classical security, we need less people to implement, to deploy a patch, for example, a security patch, or, or configure a firewall. We will not really need much people as before, but we need people who can operate a security solution and understand all the intelligence into, into that.